better stills. That's Great. called still cam nuck. There's a still cam. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Um, if you scroll on the right hand side, you'll get I, the rest I don't of have control. Settings. I'm just looking. Are we shooting three by two? Is that right? Not raw and JPEG? I think it's shooting both. It is shooting both. Okay. It should be shooting both. Raw okay. and JPEG. Okay, good. Uh, it's a little dark looking at your histogram. Yeah, okay. So, uh, can you, uh, your manual F14, that's really, I would crank that down before I would change my shutter speed, or uh, I'll open up your iris. So try like uh, F8. Hold on, right there. Okay. Go back, I think we're blowing those whites out, but it's a raw image. That's so much wider than what we have here. Let's go F11, that's a traditional uh, f-stop. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that histogram's okay. That looks okay. Can you crank the... Does the ISO have to be so high up? We'll have to open up more if you uh, go down. But yeah, go down to 1600 maybe. Uh, that's one more step probably. Nope, two more. And oh, then... There we go. Yeah, and then go uh, F... Maybe 8, F4. I'd be comfortable down one. Go back one. Oh, back one. Okay, yeah, sorry. Back two now. F8. Yeah, so we're at one. Oh, that'll all be metadata in the raw images. Uh, okay. 160th is our shutter speed. F8, ISO 1600, which is still high, but not as high as 4000. Uh, looks okay. We could always take a still image and send it to Tom. We can look at it there. Yeah, I'm Guess. just thinking um, all yeah. the other ones I've taken kind of disappeared from that bar. Is that good? Is it, did they get saved okay. somewhere? Oh, this looks better. They should be. Hey, Dan. Yeah, that, um, that doesn't look that overexposed to me. I wish we had Lightroom or Adobe Raw or something on here. We want to keep the vertebra a bit to the left so we, we don't miss the sides. This does look yeah. better than what I had before. So. Okay. Yeah. You don't uh, care about the marker to start much, with? Too much. What's that? Too much. We still want to see the marker, but we were kind of yeah, going yeah. to veering too much th to the center. Thank you, Ed. Oh, yeah, sure. Looking at the Hope that helps. DSC there, sorry. Yeah, it's looking more like what an ideal histogram would look like compared okay. to what I had. Yeah. So the ISO increases the sensitivity of the sensor, but introduces noise. So the lower you can keep that and still have a good exposed image, better for post. Okay. Stand by a sec. Do we want to start with this out of frame and then move forward? Are you flying or doing autos? Okay. I'm flying. Fabio, did you hear Ed's, um, do we want to start with this out of frame and then move into it? Or is it okay starting in frame? No, 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 with the video. Out of frame. Out of frame, okay, you want it out of frame? I gotcha. No. Mm. I think uh, we can. Hope I have enough tether to get out of frame, maybe. Come down three meters, Danny. Come down five. I could bump out a land tip closer if you want to the wheel fall. Oh, I got to, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure I understand what, okay. what was your question. Here we go. That's good. Then. Starting our transect? Oh, I see. From. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they'll be harder to calibrate now. Are you ready, Fabio? Yeah, we're now at two meters though, height, but I think we're good. I'll Just go. Hello, Anna, I'll stop at 30 meters. Right. Is that enough of the marker for you, or you want more? That's okay. That's, that's good.
And Tom, I've got that uh, digital still camera GUI is up on SatFeed3 at NautilusLive.org or on the Scientist Ashore portal. Getting a little bright in here. I don't know if we've come down. Yeah, a little low there. pictures right along the way yeah yeah okay they're free <laughs> well they're not free but you know. your cell phone you can take them. same price for one is 100 nice i still want to fill the whole hard drive it's downloading some, uh, to the uh, cool mothership the whole time egg towers there do you get enough of that marker over there yeah no we can we can keep going because that marker is on the other side got it we can keep going on this line. She go by. Do you want your bubble on porch for clearance? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. It was on porch. Yeah, you can hit one on the bubble cam if you want, Jenny. That's the default. I should clear it at 1.8 meters, I would think. I hope. There's some tall snails there. Yeah. Keep building their RV towers, <laughs> reaching towards the sky. Those towers are eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see them a lot at Barclay Hydrates. They're very common. Oh, that's bubble. Is it bubble? Bubble, yeah. I didn't know if I was new to the party on that, but. No, no. Are we going to be clear of the skull? I think so, right? At 1.8. Looks like you're clear. So for folks just joining us, um, we are doing a photogrammetry of a whale fall and the plates are helping calibrate uh, the video. That's a big brittle star. Come up uh, five meters, can you? One of five meters. Good job, first line. Now the second one, we're just gonna go from the center of the skull and from the center of the vertebrae line. Vertebrae on the looking right side down, of the screen. Looking down them. The vertebrae are on the still on the left side of the screen, or are they on the right now? Sorry, I missed. The vertebrae should be on the left side of the screen with 25%, or on the right? No, no, right? we are doing a second line, which is right at the center of the, okay. of the skeleton, oh, which yeah. is, we're going to mm -hmm. be looking down to three lines. from above. Three lines all together. So three lines, yeah. I did tell you I'd forget, right? I'll stop <laughs> 25 back meters. There. Tom tells you to keep doing it with the steels. As long as he likes that histogram, it's fine by me. Okay, you ready? All right. You can, Let's Tom, see. if you can recommend some tweaks based on what you're seeing. Here we go. Nice print job. Mm -hmm. 
One turn it. Well, the markers was a less, less minute thing. <laughs> last Friday that we printed in the shop that prints boat main mm. tags for boats. I don't have any of this. I'm going to try it, but oh, I don't have any. I'm joking. So just a, a quick question from viewers. Um, are the plates going to be left down? Yes. Yes, OK. For at least a couple of years, so we come back here and do it again. If Megan let us. Pardon? No, yeah. yeah. Well, now it's kind mm. of hard to find a center, right? Because we are, I think we're good. We're, we're good. Mm. Yeah. I'm cheating. I'm using the digital still camera. So, uh, yeah, if the lasers go right on top of it. Amazing. Uh, do you want the lasers off? No, no, no. If they go on top of the vertebrae, then tells that you're right. Not that. Gonna burn two laser marks right down the center. So it's like we've come down a little bit in altitude. Yeah, we did. Four. I'm overexposed right now. Yeah, yeah, come up a bit. You can tweak your iris a little. There's no law against moving. Atalanta iris. shows pretty good image of a nice straight row. Just yeah, the zoom in. Tom's photogrammetry of 12, 2012 and 2020, it seems like the jaw bones have um, moved a little. Previous work shows iris changes in the center of the field that they were unable to correct for. Really? Yes, that's why it's dark on that map. Or maybe it was the imagery that Fabio Sweet. showed me, so I'm trying to give them a uniform exposure by... Staying at the same altitude, same f-stop. Well, altitude plus or minus. Oh yeah, I'm clicking them as fast as the program will let me. Yeah, that, uh, that's probably a tethered photo session. So every time you click, it's got to send it top side to be saved before it's ready for the next one. Okay, and I've noticed that it kind of goes away every now and then, this tree of pic images. Does that go somewhere I, else then? I have never worked with that device, and I wish I could help you with that, but I okay. just don't have experience with it. I'm not even sure what device that is. Um, Camera. Yeah. <laughs> ONCCTD? Uh, I'm not familiar with those Justin, technical terms. And this whale fall was first documented in 2012, is that right? 2009. 2009, all right. ONC first visited in 2012. Right, thank you. Good job on the second line. Third. Do you know anything about this thing? Less than you. Oh, and less than me, that's not much. No, it's, it's it's working. It's just every now and then these rows of stuff goes away and it kind of starts from scratch. But it doesn't reset the naming convention, but I just want to confirm that they're going somewhere. It is, okay. Auto download. Gotcha. All right, because it's, it has been fairly inconsistent for how many pictures I've had. So that's great. Great news. The autos were all purposing. Yeah, around. I'm saying you're not doing bad. You got your straight lines here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know about okay. at, this, at this resolution, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, he, I just got information every 15 minutes that uploads to somewhere. Perfect, all right. Longer, you can definitely feel the effects of the longer tether with the current. Yeah. All right. 
At least you didn't wrap around the okay. six eight. Well, <laughs> I just don't know where they go, so as long as someone is up <laughs> aware of this. That's it. Dan, can, you, can we keep that? How to like, oh, well, oh, let's did you? do that again. Keep running circles. We did it this morning. All right, Fabio. Uh, keep the altitude consistent with the other side. I think it was 1.8. Yeah, Roger. Just getting set up here, letting it float up nice and slow. We've got the, uh, what we call our Z-bias, or our trims are dialed in, so it's just ever so slightly positive. Okay, you ready? Yeah. And here we go. Okay, here she comes. So Dirk, and maybe this is a question for Tom, if we had the luxury in, of time and could rerun this and carefully keep the same overall exposure, would that be beneficial to him or is he happy with this? That's Fabio and Tom's domain yeah. here. Sorry, Ed, I'm focused on the, yeah, oh, well, I, I missed your question. Uh, hopefully Tom's listening and he'll answer on the chat. Yeah, I think he's got yeah. a 20 second delay, so I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, Have my eyes on the altimeter here. Dan is doing a great job. <laughs> I tried with the auto, and it was uh, purposing more than uh, what I'm doing. So I think that's how stay more to tether. the left. Tom is saying uh, we're right. missing more to the left. More to the left. Like there. We have this. I have to go over this call. Don't forget. All right. Stay in a straight line, mate. Right? Oh, yeah. Totally lost the plot there. Sorry. Uh, Are we going over the center of it? You know, more to the no, towards to the, left, the left. To right? the left. More to the left. Roger. I want to see it from the side. Let's come down a bit first before we go over. I want to be able to see that, that left jawbone from the left side, yeah. Okay, we're back down in our just barely high enough not to scrape off snails. You happy there? Well, the, the jawbone, right? Imagine, I think we lost the par being parallel. We're not parallel anymore to the to the jawbone. Yeah. Yes. No better. And then we have to move all out a bit to the left. Right. Be more if you can. What's that? A, a bit more, more if you can. Yeah. Perfect, I think. There's lots of questions coming in, but uh, we're in a tense moment. I will just answer those in a bit. <laughs> Happy there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go.
drop this into call map tonight, see if you can mount your laptop. end of line three. Now we're gonna do that orbit uh, then like we discussed before. We're gonna do that. Do you want me to do these stills during the orbit? Absolutely. We're Why getting not? a thumbs up for our viewers at home. Thumbs up, Dirk. But you don't need stills of this. Dirk's huh? feeling what? a little sleepy. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I'm watching Netflix on my phone right now. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> so I can either back up and do a 360 or I can turn and do two 180s. Up to you. Alright, whatever is easier on your tether management. Oh, either way. It's easier to turn here and do a... That way you'll get two, um, two pirouettes. You'll get a 180, a 360, and a 180. Just think, Dirk, for every time you take an image, that's three minutes out of Tom's life that he's got to spend processing it. I know, and that's why I'm taking as many as I can. <laughs> Tom is putting his undergrad students to do it. Oh, he's right. just bullshitting. He, uh, he has an automated process called a grad student <laughs> <laughs> and Python. Um, I'm going to ask Tom... Stills during the orbit, yes. Oh, yeah. On it. Uh -huh. Don't well, let I that deter you from post-secondary studies, folks. Yeah. You learn valuable things. Oh, yeah, we have a school teacher here. <laughs> yeah. So, you want to be a little higher Don't for this? Don't say anything pirouette? bad about students. <laughs> you want the whole Fabio, thing? Fabio, that was a question for you, I think. Sorry, Dan? Uh, you want to be a little higher for this, or you want to uh, same altitude? And I think same altitude, Roger. unless okay. Tom shouts me here. here. Here we go. Well, Ricky, what time did the RV go in the water for this dive? We arrived in the bottom. I'm going to tell you in a moment. We no rush, just at some point. We touch bottom around 7.30. 7.39? 7.30. Okay, thanks. So, we went in about 6.30. 6, we dove around 6.30. Oh my god, Tom. Yeah, 6.30 in the water. Some right. vocabulary I'm not familiar with. Stay low on the pir pir pirouette. Pirouette. Okay. That's a circling oh. maneuver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sports mm -hmm. reference. I never saw a spell like this. You're right. right. Maybe because I'm Brazilian. Or maybe you spelled it wrong. <laughs> we have some... Pihuet with age. We have some audio interference for our uh, data logger on their headset that we're aware of, but it makes it sound them, makes them sound like they're on our traffic helicopter circling overhead. Yeah, the, this co is not in frames. He's asking him to tilt up a little the camera, or I'll maybe come up maybe zoom, yeah, come up a little, yeah. yeah. That 180 is, uh, is, is probably our perfect altitude, actually. 1.8, 1, 1 actually. Gonna get a second shot of it here because they're gonna come back around to the right. So. Otherwise, the tether turns police will be after me. A 
as you go around, make sure to, to get the orbit around the whole jaw plus jaw bones plus skull. And we're going to come back around the other way now, so we'll do okay. a 360 counterclockwise. Okay. And uh, I'm probably going to have to little, come a little higher when I come on the back side there. Well, according to um, Ed's estimates, we're looking at about <laughs> 600 minutes of processing time so far on these stills. Not bad. Uh, it's 10 hours. Why, you did that math in your head? Well, I I rounded up to 200 to make it easier for me. Ah, uh, there you go. Although I'm sure he's got an automated process too. In addition to the research, Ryan, this would be a great education tool. Tom says the left ear has fallen off in the meantime. Yeah, I, I, I guess he means from the last time we did this in 2020. Is it possible to tilt up a little bit so we can have the skull in frame all right yep. from this angle yeah I need to come up a little bit when I come around this side anyways it's uh, I think it's uphill there behind last time I tried that it became uh, gonna brighten you up here just to try and match a little about in there. Yeah, I don't need that one anymore. If you, if you need it back. This one? And then as we go to the side, we can probably lower it back to the, yeah, the 1.8. Should we come down here? To, uh, I think this is going to look good. I have a feeling. Tom says the steel's camera is awesome. I hope Andrew Turbers is listening in. If you look, if you look in our cable drawer, you'll find a bag that has one to go. Uh, it's a little doodger. It's labeled as a no modem. Yeah. It's uh, one of those snap together ones. that's wired to go. PC Moxa. So, Some the data from these stills, where does it go? Is that like saved somewhere that we get somehow? Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. I think we're almost done. I'm not seeing the slope, Dan. Is it higher to starboard? Uh, my port was. Um, what? When I went around there last time. I don't okay. Know, started that would have been. Copy. <laughs> was like, oh, you're in you're low D. No. Tom. One coming back <laughs> Just wanted to do a high pass to. Uh, hmm. You've been taking screen grabs. I'm not sure. I don't know if we're, yeah, maybe down here. I don't know. Yeah, that's usually what we do. Bullseye is down here. Never started at the whale fall before. Usually. So I'm just on standby here to hear from Tom if we're good from the orbit. I think we should be good.
Yeah, yes, good. we're good. One more uh, 180 here, or bonus 180. Okay, bonus I'm trying 180. Get, uh, low as I can here. On the Are we going to keep taking pictures on the bonus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the bonus? It's essentially, if you, if you take away my mouse, my finger would still be doing this. <laughs> we wanted to do some, yeah. You're it's in robot uh, mode now. High pass and a low pass, it might go a little better model. Yeah, got to get all the occlusions. Yeah. All the angles. Two passes are better than one. So for the folks watching at home, we've had lots of questions about what we're doing and what we've stuck into the seafloor. Um, this is a whale fall first discovered in 2009. Um, and taking a look by o uh, Ocean Networks Canada in 2012 and we've been visiting this site for many years uh, and we're doing a photogrammetry exercise right now using those plates that are stuck in the Plate. sea floor okay. to uh, calibrate video um, so taking videos as well as still images and what does uh, that mean? no we don't know what kind of whale it is Dan? Huh? I, f I think we're good for the orbit if we can come back okay, to this, we're this done now, I think. port site, we have. We we'll want give to, him one good picture. We want to zoom in in a few uh, spots along the uh, the skeleton, right. and the first one would be to this port side of the mandible, the jawbone, where you were, you just came from, the other side. Where you came from? <coughs> yeah. The whales. Of the whales side. port. <laughs> the port side of the whale. <laughs> This is image Bravo on your die plan, Fabio? Image Bravo? Yeah, on this oh, die yeah, plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see here, back to the die plan. Yeah, Bravo. Where you see the two worms there? Yep. We want to... The that, forward that, yeah. edge of the uh, left jawbone, Dan. I don't have a printed copy of You see the lamellibrachia? Um, I have it over here if you can. Yeah, I see the two bars. I'll pull it up. Kill my markers. See if you can go perpendicular to that. Perpendicular to that bone. Yeah, perpendicular will be better. My current to our side there. Any view from the side, though? We, we want to be perpendicular to the left, to this side. The camera will these. be parallel. The ROV will be perpendicular. Is that right. what you're saying? I thought you want to see yeah. these two worms here. We, we want to see it from the right looking towards it. Looking that way. Exactly, yeah. Renato. You're going to have the current behind you, so it's yeah. not going to be too flash. But, yeah. Get ready for the digital right? steals. Pardon? Yeah, we're looking yeah, for, we're for, I don't know if you can, oh, you, does, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm wondering. you got to take better photos than this one. <laughs> oh, okay, go oh, no. Please. Say it again, Dan. Push in a little, please. Yeah. Am I overexposed here? A little more. Looks a little like it. Bacterial mat. Hmm. Good. Ed, could you look at this? Do I need to change settings on this? Yeah. You do. You're a little over. Uh, let me see if I can jump back to Since you. Since we got close in here, it's going to... Yeah. Uh, turn your ISO down. Uh, maybe 400. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Where am I going? Oh. Uh, let's go yeah. one more. That's... Uh, okay. Yeah. You're right, Dan, huh? Ed. Still there. Yeah. Would you z zoom out a little? We yeah, wanna, coming out. We want to have a very similar view. We want to match it to the previous image, right? Yeah, exactly. Dan, can you see this previous image? No. On the dive uh, I can show it to you. It's it's just uh, what Dan's saying is that the here. current's going to be behind us, and so it's oh, all, all, the, all the stuff starts to get into I the image. I can't come around that way and I get see. a tight can shot. You see what happens? Too. Yeah. The current's behind us. So I, I see. So... Maybe the whole section will be hard to do it because the current's blowing the wrong way. Yeah, if we wait right. till the current goes the other way, then we can. That's right. Um, They're all from this side. So maybe we can side. go. We could could do the 
detail zoom in from from this position at least yeah. from above i can i can get so i can come down here but as soon as i got low yeah. with that that's twice now with that so, heading, yeah the current so behind us it's gonna you're not gonna have a so if you if you can add yes sir. if you can zoom in now coming in let me focus yeah there. not not too I'm much i'm just gonna focus here Make sure I get it right. Okay, there we go. And then similar framing, yeah. eh? Like yes. this. Yeah. And all the two berms in the shot. Yeah. So then we can go to the skull. I mean, uh, it'd be nice to see. Yeah, I don't want to just creep along here, all zoomed in. Uh, you want to go get image delta now? Delta. I can't look at yeah, that. That's fine. Now. Yeah, delta, exactly. Okay, so that's the, uh, the part of the skull closest to the jaw, Dan. Yeah. I'm going to come out. You can stay zoomed in there. And I think they're just here. looking to compare, do s comparison with 2010 images here. Yeah, 29. So. That histogram looks good still. Uh, stand by. Thank you. Dark F8. Yeah, I don't want to overexpose that skull, and it's super bright, so. Yeah. How about if just to have a similar frame as in 2009 to come? So that's wider. I mean, the issue of the current could be overcome if the ROV is, is two meters up the bottom or more, and then we zoom in with the camera. Uh. I mean, it's a pretty good shot. But we just, yeah. Be able to, uh, We're trying to reproduce the same exact frame yeah, to see how things changed over 14 years. The impressive thing is how small the lasers look on there still compared to looking at a fish or something. It's huge. Yeah. What was the heading of the previous image? Uh, uh, da, da, da. Like 20 degrees off, still coming around to your port. Yeah, that's uh, about that's, in that's there. Pretty close. Yeah, there. right in there. Let me zoom out a little. You tell me you don't have a number. Right in there. Yeah. Right in do you do you want a million <laughs> shots of the same angle? It's good. Uh, I don't see it in the no. in here, but, no. but that I have okay. the, the replicable yeah. shot. There it is. Looks it's pretty as dead it, on. As it changes a little. But there's a lot of pictures for Tom to filter through. Different exposures. I'll get a little closer here, but the current, I'm worried the current's going to push me into it. I'm going to have to pull back and it'll... Go widen up here a bit, I think we, we got How this we covered. I, I think we're good. We, we can move to E. E is the one, two, three... Starts at the gap after the fourth vertebrae. After and this, Roger. we collect. Um, I'm gonna come out. Six, six push stay bars. In. Yeah, we'll stay some, in. Uh, just we'll some images while we're in here. Okay. We're in anyways. Well, I told. That one already, we already. Okay. 
Uh, hey, Dan. Yeah. Um, for moving the ROV just in the column versus along the bottom, is there a difference in transit speed? So trying to keep video of the bottom versus just going to A to B, no, 800 meters, is there? It depends on the um, bathymetry change. If it's flat, we can, okay. we can go. What's so kind of the, what can we expect for a transit speed if we just want to get to the other spot? Uh, that will depend wildly on the vessel. So whether the vessel's going forward or sideways. Oh, okay, I understand, yeah. Yeah, um, and we're talking about going to the bullseye site. Yeah, yeah, just the main, um, the main kind of area there. Yeah, that's seven. It's about 800 meters away from here. About that. I think we might have to move to Sampley now. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We should uh, collect uh, three push cores here if we can. Right here in the middle. Uh, as closest to the skull and the jaw bones as possible. Right. Let's say, let's say, let's say, I don't want to disturb the site too. Actually, it can be out, out here, out, out of the marker, closer to the scrab here. Oh yeah, around right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, Dirk, back there? Yeah, go ahead. So we have the wind off the, um, and they'll port bow. Oh. But that's, um, okay. and that's the direction we need to go, is to the port. Um, so if the ship can make half a knot at, in this orientation, uh, it would be about an hour. But I don't know if, we'll see about the startup of that and see how fast we end up going. Okay, so, if we're moving half a knot, Dan, we could keep the bottom in view at that point, or Absolutely. is it still better to come up in the column? Absolutely. I'm yeah, it's pretty gen. If I can't stay on the bottom. Sorry, I can't <laughs> hear you, Dan. You're very quiet. <laughs> yes, absolutely, can right. stay on the bottom. Okay. I would. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a pretty, it's a pretty gentle slope up and then a uh, then flat. So. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll wrap up simply there. there. I'll done. do the push course, Danny. Yep, I'm right. swinging right. around now to go grab. Hydraulics on. Bit yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, Fabio, what are those worms called where they retract into that underground thing? Ooh, I didn't see it. Spoon worm? It's, uh, maybe. It's right in front of us, I think. I don't uh, remember. I usually you see them with Let a see that. pattern of circle around them. Oh, those could be. Uh, uh, acure, Can you uh, uh, put bubble on uh, three, or please? Or CPM collets. Do they vacuum clean the sediments around the, the hole? Uh, or it's a predation thing because, uh, well, I've seen them in the Gulf of Mexico, so it's probably a completely different species. Uh, They'll retract exceptionally quickly into that mm. hole. And you frequently see a star pattern going from the hole out, so like they go in different directions, I guess, based on current. I like to see one. Is there a cool penatolid? See, they have a little ophiorite at the on top. Yeah, and the one closest to us has, yeah. it looks like it has two. Can't really see it but blown towards us now, but the bottom of frame. Wow. Hmm. Four jobs are going to play. So Fabio, for these push cores, what are we looking at? What we're are we gonna, hoping to gather? We're going to do a DNA uh, investigation to see if we can see any signal of the 
the Are you fauna around the whale as the what was that? and we'll can you collect go wide? samples away from the the, car the skeleton and see if we can four, four. see a signal a difference all right that's very cool thanks so we got uh is it four push cores that we're gonna do three over here and we only have five so two ten meters okay. away from Zoom the, the skeleton. Coming in. Holding there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. If you can avoid the shell, that will be great. Oh yeah, now I see this is a... Uh... Roger, that can do. Yeah. You may see that retract quickly once we touch bottom. And uh, you can let me know the sample numbers if it's Why the not? same as H1968-1. Oh. Uh, Data, do you have the HyPack 2 screen up? Or called HyPack Serve, Hype Serve? Coming out. Who's on the arm? I am. Okay. Okay, you see the coordinates here that I'm circling with the mouse? We're done with the photos, right? Um, mm -hmm. Are you on hype yes, serve? Yeah. Not hype plan? What do you want? Nothing. Sure thing, and then let me know the sample IDs when you're uh, ready. No rush. <laughs> Retrieval. Okay, Ed, zoom in there, please. That should do it. Thank you. Well, Tom already made a preliminary reconstruction of our orbit of the skull. What software is he using? His students working hard. His <laughs> his students in Germany. That's mm -hmm. why. What software are they using? <laughs> it's four in the morning there. No, in Germany. No. Wait, isn't it UTC? No, they are like nine hours from here. Yeah. Well, Darn UTC you. is zero four eighteen. Coming out. Zoom in on the crab oh. or the snails there. Got it. Snail Ro shot. Roger that. And then um, the next two will be two and three. Iris. I'm presuming. Still Did we stick in three? There I we didn't go. see the third one. No, Push three, out. just two uh, in now. Just taking, I got two in the mud right okay. now, getting the third one out now. Bouncing around a lot. Yeah, they are. Thrusters. Yeah, I'm pinned pretty yep. hard. Yeah, all right, want me to come out? Oh, uh, no, you're fine. Okay. I'm going to let you when I get back around there with this third one. I think those are Neptunea Pacifica. We saw these at That's high... That's snail, a snailfish. Hydrate Ridge as well. We probably have oh, this guy fish? on our marine field like Yeah, I was thinking, I talked about this now, you know? sorry. Is that tiny blob sculpin? Yes, marine. Yeah. No, no, it's not a sculpin. It's not a snailfish. I think uh, it's a black snailfish. Okay. Snailfish, that's a new one. For yeah, me. make up make up your mind. Are you a snail or are you a fish? <laughs> <laughs> it is a snail fish. Where do you see a snail fish? To the right. To the right, Frame yeah. Frame right. Huh? Oh yeah. I got more. 
I think. Do nope, it. that's full, full zoom. It's not uh, the camera, Dan. You might be wrong. Uh, that looks like a blob sculpted to me. No. So I'm watching the uh, bubble cam when I come around so I can make sure that I just met the, the shoulders all the way up. So oh, I don't, that in my frame. oh, there it is. You know, drag the core in. Yeah, I that. think I'm wrong. Okay, I'm not sure if you want to go wide, I'll... Uh, all right, yeah, come in wide, slow. Oh, oh, sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, Snap. wait, I'll oh. go back. Okay, now I can do that. All right, let slow. me give them a five-second shot. Yeah. And come in wide now. Sorry, I forgot I got a professional over there now. I'm used to the kids, the, the joystick has two positions, stop and at the stop. I just have one button over here. What are you <laughs> talking about? You mean some nice proportional zoom. How about oh, full wide here? Right Opening here. up the iris again. Uh, right by the rubber band. Or actually, can you one go and go one closer to the like here? Yeah, sure. I need a uh, tilt or a pan, sorry. You should be able to get now, uh, maybe not. I get you close enough. Yeah, go for it there. Coming in. Gotcha. And holding there, and I can match here if you want. You happy there, Fabio? That's not too close to the marker. No, it's okay. It... Little push, done. Okay, here we go. Plastic manipulator. Always the arrow, never the archer. So just as you're putting in that third push core, someone's asking about the uh, snails behind you and uh, or behind the the arm and we got uh the yellow columns i believe they're egg sacs right yeah egg towers egg more towers. like towers very cool and what kind of snail are these these are i believe neptunea pacifica or uh bucinid they're from the family Bus bucinidae they're very common in this area here they occur a lot uh in large abundances uh, near the hydrate site that we have, uh, the methane hydrates. So they're probably associated with the methane. And you can go tight on the snails if you want there. Let me let you get out of there and then I'll grab some shots where you're swinging around to the side. Mm -hmm. And we are at the chemosynthetic environment. And the whale, um, decomposing whale skeleton. Yeah, Roger that. They're all going to be the same. I don't have a higher resolution of uh, of that, but I'll bring it up again. Sure. What screen are you working on, I could on, guess, Rennie? but I don't, I don't think it's going to... Uh, hype serve. Hype serve. Hype pack two. Hype two. Going out on uh, set three. Oh, three cars in. Uh, three in, one out, back in the quiver. So you want to go wide there? Yeah, you're coming around. Yeah. So there you go. I'll follow you in. You're going to need it. Oh, good. You can leave it where it is. Wide eye. See. Kind of like some job like this. Saying that he did it remotely on his own machines back in Germany. 
He's about. still not telling what software he's using. Colmap, if I had to guess. Oh yeah, he told me I forgot the name. He can tell us. So he or should maybe be he has his own. UTC plus two, so it's like six twenty five in the morning. Okay, Ed, you can go tight on the snails again. Going in. Want. Snail update. Still there. <laughs> you can move the camera and look at something else if you're bored with those. I'll get a water shot. Oh, I got the marker in there. Yeah. It's not look at that. Look at yeah, that one. Uh, there we go. That's a that, money shot. That snail on the right was absent, absent picture day. Went to the market and we came along. Data, you got the um, the quiver position for these as well? When they went back in? Hey Ed, can you zoom in even farther? Absolutely. Just uh, see some of the marks and the bones. This is, uh, okay, uh, core number three on. is in the third one from the forward. Core number two is on the second one from the forward. Core number one is going back into the first position, so Thanks should be Ed. all in yeah. order. Yeah, you can zoom out. Sure. Hey, look, a crab. Oh, he wanted to see the bone, though. Where's that He's interested fish? In the bone. Are we tucked in with the third core? No, I'm coming back around to get the uh, it's over last here. one here. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at Dirk here. He's the one who's always in a hurry. <laughs> Typical engineer. It's ready at the edge. I think that crab is pretty much living there for 14 years. We always see that when we visit the site, there's only one crab. Vito did cred crab. King crab. That's not king crab. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good course too, Fabio. Yeah, it looks good. A lot it's of good. sediment there for you. Yeah. Even though we're gonna use the tiny okay, bit on the surface on those snails because of our <laughs> DNA. Yeah. Oh, Fish. Hold on. Yeah. I'm saying blob sculpin. I'm absolutely saying blob sculpin on this guy. Juvenile at best. Here's our marine biologist. Sitting right here. Fabio, what kind of fish is so, that? So, psych, bro, lutes, blobfish. Prictus. I don't know. Search so from a senior staff scientist. It's blobfish. <laughs> I'm not a fish uh, biologist. So, so the, go uh, ahead. Uh, sorry, about, uh, I don't know. 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters fell out of the bottom of uh, that core there. Hmm. Just so you know. Which one? Uh, the one I just put back in, the one that's in the forward. Core one, which was the first one he put in. Um, can we take a quick, another one? Oh, actually we can't because... You only have actually, two left. If, if you guarantee there is some so we need surface sediments. Oh, the surface is still there. Still there? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. A bit disturbed, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, it's the core, just the bottom part fell out. We still have all this here, if that's okay with you. For this purpose, uh, it's, you should it's okay. be looking at okay. your samples, yeah. Fabio, not at the blobfish. You're distracting so me for... Just, yeah, it's distracted. probably because you're teasing him, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> he's a biologist at heart, looking at the fish. Totally. Coming out. I don't care about the mud. <laughs> okay, so we are. Ooh, look, a shrimp. Going
need to say goodbye to the whale. And the blobfish. Unfortunately. Sculpin. And go navigate 10 meters away and trigger three Niskins. Three Niskins? Oh, why? Two. Well, you still need your push cars, right? On the yeah. other side. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. And two, car, two push cars. But the Niskins go first. All right. Okay, do you just want to back away perpendicular to it as we uh, are? Any direction, if you want to start the direction to the uh, Clyclip uh, platform. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's in the direction of the whale. Oh, yeah. It doesn't uh, really matter. It's only 10 away, meters, any, right? Any direction. You just back up. As long as, yeah, that should be... I'll just back up 10 meters. We'll yeah, we well have the length with... Um, current pushes back. Atalanta. So I'm going to be downwind anyways. Do you have the length of Atalanta, or do you want me to move it? What's that? Will you have the length for Atalanta? I think we'll be good, yeah. Okay, Roger. There you go. That very faint crossbar. <laughs> Zoom in there and get some shots while we're drifting back uh, with uh, the wind. Of these like tracks? Black coral. Yeah, that's black coral. Uh -huh. <laughs> some halotherians in the mud. Dancing crab. One arm. arm. Ditto. <laughs> Looks like the dust cloud's coming with us. Yeah. Should be slightly downslope. Is that a rockfish? I'm amazed at all the corals here. That was a cup coral, wasn't it? Hmm. I missed it. So two more push cars here, right? Oh, we go Niskins first. Take them again. Take it, go wind it. Coming out. There you go. There's a big coral in there. Yeah, nice one up there. Uh, so you're going to save one in this skin? That's the. that the uh, plan is it? The, the remaining three. You want all three of these? Yeah. Can you switch the camera to the start the rail cam first? Fabia, how do you process these Niskins? Is it filter or? Yeah, we're gonna use a special filter for your DNA. Yeah, okay. I think it's a 35 micron. I think it's a Nitex filter. Is this part of um, 
Neha's stuff, or is she working on this stuff too? She's in need DNA, or? Neha? Yeah, Neha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that okay. we are Where'd collaborating go? on right. other Let's stuff. Slide back that cool. Huh? So she was up in the Arctic with us at one time, oh, Cambridge really? Bay, working on the PPS. Oh, okay. Before she started her, she's doing PhD? Yeah, with Karen Helbin. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool strip of corals. And we only have two push cars left. Okay, Ed, zoom in on something. Coming in. Sculpin? Or rockfish, sure. rather? Why not? It'll take that's me a minute to... Uh, I'm not sure here. about that, but that's as close as I can get because there's about 40 different kinds of rockfish. I'll guess it's Sebastus or Sebastolobos. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Oh, alert, alert, alert. He didn't like it. Or her. I guess we were wrong. Or them. Them. Uh, they, they. Basket start. Oh, that's a good picture there. Fabio, look at this one. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, that coral is too basket out far level. away. I can get these overflights. Are we ready for cores or not yet? No, oh, I'm still picking. playing around trying to get the thing out of here. Uh, overflight and shrimp. This is kind of a cool feature of this sub arrangement that you're working off on the side but still able to look at cool biology normally you need all the cameras on the push course this is nice uh, oh yeah Susie yeah. swings around nice. I'm coming wide for him I think that shrimp Nav could I have the coordinates for the skin please one more I need oh need a long to thank you that sure. is a cool looking shrimp too sorry to remove that coming around Roger. Thanks, I got the coordinates. Sure, I'll do the next ones for the push course. DVL's walking off for no reason. Yeah, that's a good one. Rat tail fish. Yeah. Mm. McCurry. Uh, Pardon? Hocus focus. You're yeah. interested in the fish. That's a rat tail. Mm. Uh, Giant one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That's a cool looking menu. thing. Grenadier. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's better framing. Is that a yeah. You changed it to make it more attractive. That's <laughs> an animal, right? Not a plant. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, is that a little cup coral in? No way. Yep. Yeah, a tiny one. What's that? What are you looking at? Cup coral. Zoom in on the little cup coral. Ooh, sorry about that. Cup coral. Interesting. Yeah. My personal favorite. Oh. Yeah. Huh. So, one more note for the uh, book there that ends her one. You never did get that yaw, right? Well, is Set all the way. Coral. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, let's see, it doesn't look like a. Okay.
can. Coming in. Mm. Oh, Fabio's got a different place in mind there. It's just a general area. You're, we're good here. Roger. General area. Not killing the all the Torians. We're good. And that's the bioturbation area. If I remember right, I think on the transit back to the bullseye, there's a rice cooker or something on the ground. I wonder if we'll pass over it again. Yeah. Yeah, the one with the lobster or the octopus. Yeah. On the octopus in it. See if our path crosses. You got a waypoint for it. We did a few it. times already, so it's not unlikely. No. Oh, that's right. We're gonna go fly off bottle. What did I do last time, Renny? I put the... Well, if you need to go faster. I put the right-hand one in the very back one. Uh, yeah, it depends. So, Data, this one is the last one that we just put in. Um, number... Zoom in again, Ed, if you want. In? Yeah. Number five. We might as well put this one in the fifth uh, slot. Stand by. Let me get the shot for... Uh, Dan. Oh, are we just shooting the coral, Dan, while you're over there? I shoot whatever you Thank want. Thank you. Your cup coral? Yeah. yeah. Go right ahead. So that's um, the on most aft still. position on Hercules. You want this in the aft position? I think so, yeah. That one was the second one you put in. Call it, call it the fifth one. It's going to make it challenging to get the... I think I'll put it in the next one up. Okay. I might put it in whatever one I can get. Yeah, Roger. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let them know when it's in. Okay, let's see. Now, are the coordinates for the last two push calls the same? Uh, yes, and I have that up on the screen. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just grabbing them. Sure. And Fabio's to confirm, that one did go in the aftmost one, so... Are you happy yeah. with your whale experiment now? With these yeah. objectives? Okay. We're happy. Tom is happy. We are happy. Everyone's happy, all right. So we have one more push core to put, put away there, Dirk. Yep. And then we'll be heading towards <coughs> which of the bullseye coordinates is uh, it? Just to the IP. Um, IP. If, they, if you have the IP labeled, that's where we'll be going. Okay, and Roger, I do, somewhere in there. And like you said, it kind of depends on the ship speed. If the, if the ship can't go fast enough to justify going up the column, we'll just follow the regular benthic survey route. So you might see that pot again, but yeah, I suspect that whatever speed the ship can go, the ROV can drive on the bottom at. Okay, so we wanted the goal is we're a little tight on time, so the goal would be to get there as fast as possible, but Roger. if the ROV can stay on the bottom, it would be good to set up for a benthic yeah, survey yeah. anyways, Roger, at whichever yeah. speed. We'll do that. I think we can, I think we can manage. Yeah. Pretty benign I got territory. word from Tom here. He says the survey was a great success, and I think the addition of the still scan was a killer feature. A killer feature. Killer Please feature. ask them for the high pack track on the of the survey, mm -hmm. Renato. I guess. Always. Roger. Yeah. So all the nav data you'll have. Okay. Um, and you'll probably be want. Be a while on this last one. So we'll have both USBL and the DVL in there. Great. So Fabio. If we are going to do this survey, the benthic survey, you'll want the time what stamps is for it. the, um, is there a specific start location for it? Sometimes you're no. lucky. No, just the heading? Navigation, just the I heading got there. all the coordinates, thanks a lot. Sure, thank you. Okay, so where do we start? Bottom transect, video transect survey. Click about bullseye, okay. Let me just get the So what's your, here. can you, beyond me reading it from the back, what are the um, survey parameters for field of view, height Al off bottom? Altitude, altitude the, the lowest we can get, half meter to a meter okay. above the bottom, half knot speed, and with the camera set up, we can, as the, as the transect starts, I can, or before we start, I can s lay the, the camera. Okay, I so... Mean, the tilt is good. Sometimes we want to do a couple of uh, 
thought touches on the zoom. We want to eliminate all the dark. Would you be foreground. Would you be okay sitting oh, in and you. doing that? Yeah, I because I have to do some. Um, of course. <laughs> uh, drink some coffee, take a break, Cars. because I'll be here for a while after. So, yeah, for uh, sure. Um, all right, okay. Sweet. Did I hear back there that the goal is to do half a knot? Um, all the way from here to the... Judgment. Yeah, if that's as fast as the ship can go, then it. half a knot. Yeah. That's and we're aiming for that one meter off the bottom. I'll, I'll let you know once we reach half a knot if we can go faster. 1.6 meters. 1.6 is preferred? Yes, please. Uh, one work? to 1.6. Okay. If we get below one meter, our... our Speed goes down. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, are we ready to make we that move? We wind up augering into the mud, that's what we do. Science and pilots, I can call that in right now if... Depends on which way we're moving. Right? Yeah, we're going to be going 225. I'm going to give you a DVL it's reset right now. Uh, give me a second here. Yeah. 225. Okay. Roger. Sorry, it's being dumb. Uh, you're down here. So what? Yeah. And just just as we're uh, flying so away here, some folks were flying? asking about sure. uh, some of the organisms we are seeing in the frame. So yeah, we were definitely seeing some sea pigs in there, um, some corals. Um, bring um, Atalanta's heading to 225. What else? Budget, we saw some fish. Oh, a few rides. Brittle Brit stars, stars, sea stars. All right, and that in that pink, the pink coral, is that uh, a filter feeder or is it uh, predatory? Uh, suspension feeder. Yeah. Okay, suspension yeah. feeder. Yeah. All right. And the push cores, uh, that was the other question. Um, so we did some photogrammetry at the whale fall here, as well as some push cores to collect eDNA. And you get a freebie give us here, Fabio, before we yeah. leave. <laughs> We're just going to give us uh, information about uh, the organisms that uh, have been in this site. So in, just a touch head. Yeah, an idea if we can track what we see from the imagery Let's and the mega, mega fauna, mega bentos, or macro, macro bentic communities, if we can see their, you know, indication of their presence more. in the sediments. Hit one on the bubble cam, please. New, really? Sort of a new approach to monitoring biodiversity in, in, in the deep sea. And my understanding, it's mitochondrial DNA? Uh, there are a bunch of different <laughs> okay. mar markers that are being used. They call it meta, meta barcoding. You can uh, Sorry. kick them into gear if you want. Yeah. Roger that. You can take Bridge now. It's free. Yeah. Hi, we'd yeah, like to right. track a line bearing 225, speed 0 0.5 knots. There's actually way more bacterial mats than last time. So yeah, it's a good, good shot. Uh, it'll be eight zero zero meters, eight hundred meters. Thank you. Okay, I can go wait. You just call it one big step. I don't know. Whatever you want. Yeah, because they're, they're going to do the a trans transect, and okay. we want to get there as fast as possible. So no stopping on the way, unless they they tell us to. So. Enrique, oh, are you gonna oh, log two, two, five. transect? Once the ship yeah. starts going, we'll start moving. But it'll take a second. Do you know how to do that? What's that? Talking to me? No, I don't think so. No, we doing opportunistic okay. zooms here, or just fixed? I think they. I, I don't know. Well, I think I that's a question for you. Are we doing any opportunistic zooms or just fixed zoom? Fixed during line? during the during the transit? Yeah. Um, I only if we see. I mean, we have to stop, right, to do the zoom. Oh zoning. yeah. So I don't think we we want to stop, right? So Copy. I think uh, no no zoom in. Unless we see something sure. very unusual, then Unless we'll stop we see and another check it out. dead whale. No, <laughs> at half a knot at this step, you would have probably. 30 seconds if we did stop because of the layback of Atlanta yeah. because it will keep swinging and then swing right by us. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, maybe yeah. 60 seconds and that's if we get Atlanta on the other side of us. And yeah. then you have to do, um, you know, 
100 meters of twice as fast, so you lose 100 meters of your transect. But this, I mean, this is a perfect picture for a transect, but you said you cannot fly this, this low, right? Uh, I can. You can? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I don't know if the computer then we, can. We can then try. we want. If you can, we want. Roger. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't know if I can do it that long. I'm going to give you another DVL reset on the fly. Sure. It's kind of being finicky. And Atalanta has not started to move, but the ship is moving. Our current speed is 0 0.3, increasing. I'm going to do that. Visual. Did you want me to drop a target where you started the survey, uh, Science? So the goal here, Jake, is to you know, probably let Danny in while we're doing this as well. Uh, but it's a video survey, so it's yeah. you didn't get to play around at all. You've done these before, have you? Yeah. yeah. So I've got all the ducks in a row. The difference here is we're going to have more of a spacing. So. Uh, you know, we got the long tether, so our typical 20 meters there is going to be uh, maybe 40 meters. Okay. And then our delta here is going to be 30, 35, something like that. So we'll see yep. what it looks like. I'm going to stretch it out here. Fabio, would you like me to drop a target at the start of the survey? I'd say something yes, like that. Yes, please. So if okay. we, uh, Do you have a name for the survey or just... Uh, uh, just way of fall to the bullseye platform. So you can see the tether has just a little, little bit Ricky, of a... Um, Nav's going to drop a pin. Just a little bit of a bow in it there. That's the start of our that's survey location. 10, 10, 20, mm -hmm. almost 30. To clip off to your left on Atalanta there. And Tom sends a, a good thanks for everyone, all the pilots, Ed, for the survey. I don't know, should I find muted? All part of the service. Mm -hmm. He's he's having some heather ale, olives, chips. So I have a <laughs> celebrating the success. Right. So no heather ale uh, spring spring um, south uh, spring. One meter, so it was pretty good. Uh, Is that the same German Tom that I sailed with a few years back out here when we were half a photogrammetry yes, exactly. events. He did the 60 hour photogrammetry yeah, that's at, right. at that was a long one. That was fun. Yeah, it's going to be slow to react, so if, if you get some radical terrain, it's going to bogger you in. Data, do you have those coordinates that I have up? I could put bubble cam there if you want it back there. Too. Give me one more moment, please. Sure. <clears throat> that's kind of here. Ship is up to speed um, between 0.5 and 0.6, kind of varying. Roger. And Atalanta is kind of just starting to move, but not up to speed yet. Yeah. meters a minute, 0.5, so. My conversions here, 0.5 is point, point 0.25 meters per second. <laughs> yeah, so 15 meters yeah, a minute. If you started on the starboard rail and spent a minute and a half to walk to the other rail and then back to the middle of the boat, that's how fast we're moving. That makes sense. Not. Not ten wide speed. Yeah. Point three of a knot is ten meters a minute, and that happens to be the width of Nautilus. So if it took you a minute to walk from one rail to the other, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's a good way of uh, looking at it. Yeah, anywhere. it is. Yeah. We just happen to have a ten meter wide vessel for, th <laughs> for this. Uh, science. Do you want the lasers on for this transect? Yes. Okay, Roger. They are on. So yeah, you have to play with it till it gets moving. 
I'm probably a little close now. Stretch it out. So your job, Danny, is to keep an sure, eye on this you. delta. Keep that between 30 and 35 on the winch. So um, yeah, you want to pay close attention to that because you know if we're coming uphill. Are we going uphill or downhill? Uh, uphill and then flat. Yeah. So we're going uphill. Hercules is coming uphill, but you don't winch up. You know that could be bad. Okay. We're in it. I'm out. All right. Yep. Didn't the speed used to show up over here somewhere? Ah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, we have a... I don't know where to look. We have a complaint in, so you're going to kind of just judge it. It's got to be somewhere. Where's my bullseye? That's ship. Ship speed over ground. Oh, you're looking for... You're looking for... Your yeah, where's your speed? So you want 30, 35 uh, meter delta, right? All right. So we have a, a number of questions that have come in. Um, there's lots of information about transects and the stick-like things and <laughs> what has been eating those clams. So I've got Fabio De Leo, the um, senior scientist with Ocean Networks Canada. So Fabio, tell us a little bit uh, maybe about what you think has been eating these clams as we move over them. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good, Derek. Well, those, those are clams that are uh, they depend on the chemosynthetic energy of this, this area as, as um, All right. uh, Sounds good. there's a lot of methane seeps and if there's no, they rely on symbiont bacteria on good. their guts. Yeah. yeah, we got and it. And I, I believe when the when the, the chemosynthetic energy is, is, is gone, because it's very dynamic, um, the symbiosis is broken and they, yeah, they leave yeah, they live within the source within the source of this uh, chemosynthetic energy. That is. Uh, That's why you saw on the whale fall as well the same thing as uh, for a period of years or decades that whale is fueled with by um, chemosynthesis with bacteria degrading the the energy within the bones, the oil inside the whales carry a lot of oil inside their bones most of their bones. Then you have an aerobic bacteria degrading that and releasing sulfide, and then you have this other uh, other bacteria, aerobic bacteria, uh, utilizing that, and and then a lot of animals um, that are that are capable of, of doing um, that have symbiosis with with those bacteria. They thrive on that methane source for for years but those sources are ephemeral the, the 
we're gonna be later on this dive measuring some flux of methane coming from the seafloor at the at the bullseye site. So ephemeral meaning like the the yeah, they come and go. Yeah, they they come and go exactly like a hydrothermal Smoke. vent system. Yeah. Um, they like so a, a hot your, smoker can. You're gonna have to speed up. A can bit be active for up. a few years and then suddenly shut off and that's why yeah and you can see like the beautiful colony of two worms disappear from one year to another when when you, you stop venting. Right. Wow, that's great. Fabio, um, real quick. Um, so between us and the IP, it looks like we just have the bullseye ADCP. Just want to make sure that that's not, is that up? That's on the ground. That's not kind of up. Doesn't have any height to it. No, I think that is on the uh, on monument on the seafloor. Okay, the monument's just like a couple meters high. Although, Yurik, you should help me check if this is true. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so Let's we check. want to swap a CTD, and that is indeed placed on a monument about two meters above ground, its height, and about 40 meters away from our instrument. That's the okay. CTD, but. Uh, yeah, no, he's asking about the ADCP. ADCP, uh, one moment, just sure. checking. Thank you. I think those are normally low, but I can't remember. Yeah, those normally are sitting on a T kind of a a T grading platform on the seafloor. Yeah, Roger. Right um. Yes, the ADCP is indeed placed on a grating on the sea floor, and um, the highest one we have are just a few centimeters high, maximum half a meter above ground, I would estimate. Okay, thank you. Just making sure we're not going to be flying into something up your like a mooring or anything. So, let's find Jake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you doing auto out? Auto out. Auto altitude yeah. or okay. I was, but I, I was going to the ground a bit, so because the slope increased. So yeah. So I, I have an option that might be helpful to you. Yeah. I can adjust my exposure about where it should be and just leave it alone. And if you see the image getting way brighter, that means you're moving down. Okay. If you see it getting darker, that means you're moving up. Okay. It kind of saves you having to stare at your GUI all the time. Yep. That sounds great. Okay. I guess I'll call it out, but that's more unnerving, having me yapping in your ear. No, we did hit a slope. Yeah. Yep. We were My viciously attacked by the sea, mm -hmm. sea floor. <laughs> My delta dropped 10 meters. It was like, whoa. <laughs> Are you okay if I speed up your scanning speed on, at, on Argus, even though... We're going to have to go get Argus first. Uh, Atalanta. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really matter because this slip is kind of, after this bit, it's going to be flat Same anyway. Thing. But Same thing. Clams. Yeah, can you log each of these? Someone is someday. <laughs> Just stabbing a macro like crazy. Uh, you could uh, you could automate the process of counting those. There's an app for that. I think in the next five years we're going to see a lot of machine vision to review these dive videos and produce data sets and metadata. Those are some live ones. That was a pocket of live ones back there. And these, uh, and these little gray, grayish. Some of them are, seem to be active, and some not. All well, good. Maybe there's some diffuse flow there in those gray areas. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, channel? Heard, uh, the feedback. What? Is this thing on?
Okay, front row, just wanted to let you know we switched over the comm seat, so it's Marley back here. Marley with a smile. Hey, Marley. How's it going? It's going well. In transit across what will soon be a flat plane to the bullseye instrument platform, which has a bunch of instruments attached to it. The bullseye is the site of the JD uh, drill, is that right? The what? Is that what I'm thinking of? Is it the big drill site? Oh, uh, that's the cork, and that's a, oh, okay. that's not it. This Thanks. one I want it. That's a, one of the other ones. Maybe Cascadia. I can't remember. It's either Cascadia or Barkley that that's one at. If I'm Copy that. Not mistaken. Sea star. Oh. Okay, a little bit on the fast side. Still in the pocket, you know. I just keep nowhere to look. Where, where do I look? Yeah. For the speed. There's nowhere to look for the speed. Yeah. I mean, you could. It's somewhere in the Grafana, I think. But maybe. Well, that's that's one thing we were talking about. Is it's not up here anymore, and it's really. I mean, you could obviously computer, but you don't want to do that because you want some fly time. But um, other than that, yeah, it's not up here, and we don't have as, a, as an option. Yeah. How far are we going, Rennie? From our whale fall, we have gone approximately 175 meters, and the whole thing was about 800. So about 35 minutes left. But but the slowdown will take some time to set up because we're late. We're going to be laid back quite a bit with uh, the umbilical or the um, six eight cable. That's what I mean. These are 10 meter divisions still? They are right now. So in, we have it set up in Alvin XY cord, uh, grid. So you can see if, uh, what yeah. It, yeah, but it doesn't have the nice 10 meter kind of thing anymore, which is annoying. I think it's like 50, 10, yeah. So there's no more 20, it's either 10, the, for the scales that we look at it, it's usually going to be 10 or 50. Yeah. like a little tiny, tiny baby hagfish back there. You saw a hagfish? Well, it looked like a tiny one, like, hmm. like younger than juvenile or... I don't know, I thought they were just born nasty and big. Yeah. Oh, there's like, is that a... Yeah, there's one top left, maybe. Yeah, is that a ribbon? Or... No, I'm looking at clam. No, I see that? I'm looking at two different things and putting them together. Right, that's not true. Right yeah, there. no, I don't think... I don't think that that's a hagfish. No pal? Yeah, something. Some kind of fish. No stopping, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Little sea pigs down yeah. here. Remember, folks, no wagering. Yeah, a couple of people are commenting that we're going fast. Yeah. But I don't think it's that fast. We're we trying to, to quickly yes, get to our next uh, instrument site. Uh, this is about moving quickly, not imaging. There's some cup corals on that rock. Yeah, this is kind of dual purpose. We're getting a video transect that can be slowed down later and can be used for counting organisms and what have you. But we're also trying to get to our one of our instrument platforms um, in order to do some servicing and swapping of instrumentation. So. 
so kind of opportunistic science um, at a speed that's kind of comfortable to get there in a reasonable amount of time. Um, ROV team, one question for you. Yes. Um, the push cores that we collected, did you by any chance put them back in the same slots where you put them, take, took them out? Yes, they were, they were indeed. Uh, so the order should be from the forward of the sub to the aft, one, two, three, four, five, and that was the number of push core, zero, zero, one, et cetera. Perfect, thanks a lot. Sure. Sorry, one, two, three at the whale. Yes, four or five at the at the control site. Th that's correct. And okay. the third one, so one, one, two, three. The third one was the one that was closest to the whale. Uh, number uh, three. Yeah, number okay. three. That one was, one that was closest to the. And which spine. one that we? That was a spill, or a little. Um, the spill one. I think that was number one. Concur. Number one. Okay. So there was a jawbone here, skull. Jaw. I'll collect it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Skull. Marley, in unrelated science news today, did you see, uh, um, I think it happened a while ago, but there was a researcher looking, uh, trying to uh, extrapolate some of the properties of photosynthetic uh, leaves, et cetera, and apply them to solar panels. Oh, and cool. a custodian accidentally turned off their minus 80 freezer in the lab, and they lost 20 years of samples. No, don't tell me that. I'm serious. <laughs> Oh my God. Fabio. It'd be heartbreaking. Oh, Ooh, yeah. look at that. Where did this happen? Lives down there. Uh, I'll find out for you. Did you see that, wow. Fabio, on the screen? The, the big hole. Big hole, yeah. It slowed down a little oh. bit. Looks like there's looks another one. Looks like the other side. Some, I don't know, is that is that burrowing of some kind? Sand one home. It's massive. Yeah. Oh, there's what? Whoa, 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 look at that. Whoa, to the left. Oh, that's a big rock. rock. Yeah. Oh, it's a rock. I thought it was a oh, rice cooker. Uh, the sonar. Oh, yeah, the rice cooker. Rent Sailor know. Polytechnic Institute in upstate New York. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'm pronouncing RPI, that correctly. Rent Sailor. Yeah. 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 Holy mackerel. Rent Sailor. Turned it off because there was an annoying alarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the temperature got to minus 75, and that was like. You know. I should have been able to tell you it was in America because I read about it because there was a lawsuit. So that told me right where it, Ooh. it happened. That they're valuing the samples at like uh, 1.5 million U.S. Oh my God! What was the research? Uh, uh, the researcher was trying to look at, uh, and I'm man, I'm not the source for this. I'm just uh, trying to recall what I read. Yeah. Uh, they were looking at plants and their photosynthetic uh, uh, cells and trying to apply some of that uh, that they were able to extrapolate from that to polar or solar cells uh, for power. Mm -hmm. And they had been storing them for over, uh, two for decades. decades. Wow. Yes, I believe so. Oh, I'm not seeing one of the, those around here lately. Is that a um, halosaur? Uh, I not can't. Sure. I don't know. I've, I gotta get my deep sea bio back up. Usually by the end of the season, I'll be alright. Yeah. It's the beginning of the season, I'm a little rusty. My speed control stick fell. I've not been out here for a while, but I did spend two years at home arguing with SPL. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a brittle star. <laughs> oh, my holes. 
Yeah. I've definitely tuned in, scours. tuned in at home and uh, kind of corrected. Something. Wanted to say, oh, that was a um, Umbalula, I think. Umbalula seat pen. <laughs> no, that was that was real, <laughs> real time. I've wanted to say what it is, and and it's painful to not be able yeah, to chime in and then have them figure it out. Well, now we know how our <laughs> viewers feel. Yeah. On that note, we actually have a question about, um, I mean, this is a question we get often about what to do to get into this line of work. Uh, does it have to be marine biology? No. And uh, the answer is absolutely not. We all have a lot of various backgrounds. Nice. Ooh, Ooh cool. Well, we're gonna have a little predation effect. Or scours. <laughs> More holes? Yeah, they seem to be. I don't know. Somebody push cord their way along the old sea star up here. That could Ooh, be a picnopodia. That's a good one. Uh, picnopodia were subject to, uh, maybe it was just in shallower waters, I'm not sure, the sea star wasting syndrome, which uh, a lot of resources in British Columbia brought to bear on understanding that better. And a lot of uh, citizen scientists ever too. A lot of scuba divers in the northwest contributing to that. That's a long brittle star. We have a quick question about what time zone we're in. We are just off the coast of British Columbia, Canada, so we are on Pacific time. However, all of our data is on UTC. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at the clock in the control control van. Zero five sixteen. UTC minus seven is what we are right now. Right now, yeah. I know that intimately because I was just on the transit from. <laughs> it was UTC minus ten. Yeah. Minus nine. From Honolulu. Say every other day. Every other day, changing in time. In zone. hindsight, Lucy. maybe we should have done three at once and gotten it over yeah. with. Definitely, we'd all lost sleep. Ed, the first time I sailed on Nautilus was with you, and that was when we crossed over the equator and the international dateline. Oh, yeah. So we kind of just made up our own roles for a couple days yeah. <laughs> with uh, what time well, zone we were in. The dateline that we crossed was the, the squiggle. Right. Oh, so yeah. So we went back and dateline. forth, right? Yeah, we went yeah. back to yesterday and then forward to today, or the other way around. I don't remember if it yeah. was that leg <laughs> or not, but I flew out of... Uh, Majuro to Honolulu. I had a hard time at the airport because my boarding pass had been printed tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nautilus will be, I believe, south of the equator later this year. We're like, what, 48, 49 degrees north now? And I guess I can push this button and find out. I made Look at that, 48.4. Hope you don't mind. How far are we gone? Okay. 12 mm -hmm. meters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We keep getting a lot of questions. This this came on earlier today in the morning watch about how long we stay awake. Do we ever sleep? <laughs> what are our sleep schedules? Uh, Rennie and I are going to abstain from that yeah, one. Yeah, Ed, you're not allowed to comment. <laughs> <laughs> We're abstaining. Um, not much sleep right now. We sleep when we yeah. can. We usually, I've been sleeping for <laughs> three hours at a time and that's worked out pretty well. We take naps. Um, we do have a couple of folks Octopus. on 12 hour Octopus. watches, Octopus. Yeah. so that's a long time, Another but one. we, we make it work. That's what January is for. <laughs> that's 
sleep and put. The flight home. Oh, no, wait, that's like 90 miles. That's not going to work this time. I'll go home the other way. Vancouver to Hong Kong. <laughs> to Heathrow. <laughs> to Reykjavik, or Keflavik. To Seattle. Rennie's celebrating because this expedition, he's now moved into the Nautilus Platinum Club. He's got enough miles. Yeah. Gets two free sea bags. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the amount of miles I've done. Oh my gosh. Days are about a thousand, but I don't know the. I'd have how, to look because we did quite a few mapping expeditions. I have days. Expeditions. I think we might be about the same. Yeah. What's your number of expeditions, Rennie? Ed, I know you said you're at 62. 62, that's right. 66. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Wow. <laughs> We're about the same. Uh, what am I looking for? Some, something tells me we'll be, that battle will continue. Yeah. I've been avoiding Southern Hemisphere clients, but I'll have to pick one up just to beat just you in the off season. <laughs> Is there Panikia Mosele Holoterrain? Hmm. Kind of cute, kind of disturbing. So the the creatures that are all over the seafloor here that look like sea pigs, kind of? What do we yeah, think there? Yeah, there are two, main two types of holoterrains here. Like either Scotoplanis globosa, which I don't see. Those are Panikia, I think, Moiselae. Those kind of translucent ones. Yeah, they're everywhere. Cotoplanis globosa. We had a question earlier if there was anything that would uh, make us stop right now. If there's something that was. Mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> like something that had Tell never been something. seen before. Someone's in another whale hole. Uh, yeah, probably was the Carbosoro? Albosoro, or has that monster from, the, <laughs> from British Columbia. Yeah. How do you say Albosoro? Um, a six a gill shark will we'll do it. A six six gill? Yeah. Yeah. Exanxus. You know, the, uh, I'm a little out of uh, date on this, but I believe the six gills that were being studied at the Seattle Aquarium just kind of stopped coming there. Isn't that right? Are you familiar with their research at all? No. Uh, Stop coming where? They they had a group of six skills that they were uh, monitoring uh, under the pier at the Seattle Aquarium, and wow. uh, they were diving and doing counts, etc. And uh, they would leave for a period and come back, but I think they've been gone for a while. They have uh, cameras mounted under there. I had an encounter with a six gill oh. while diving on the Pisces yeah. submersible in Hawaii, mm. at one kilometer. That yeah. that beast uh, just hit the head on the on the sub. <laughs> that was a very scary. Oh yeah. Uh, moment, but really cool. What year was that? That was two thousand and three. Oh, Pisces four or five. Huh? Pisces 4 or Pisces um, 5? I believe it was 4. I, I, we were diving. We were using boat subs on the same cruise. You uh, were on the KOK? KOK, yeah. Were you there by any chance? Not back then. You're, you're never, you were never, not even born at that time. 
I'm not that young. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, w I worked on the KOK for a few oh, years cool. with the subs and. Uh, cool. Max Kramer, Kirby. Oh yeah, Max. Yeah. Yeah, Max is my boss now. Oh really? Okay. So, so yeah, of course they don't have the hurl. The subs under the subs were. Uh, Sold to a private company, right? So, or no? Not subs, sitting there. Uh, subs are sitting in the bay in the University of Hawaii. At Would the you like Center. one? Okay. Would you like one? They're for sale. Okay. <laughs> oh, Just gotta get it reclassed real quick, and you're all good to go. Maybe we'll or put talk it on C and to buy it. Maybe. Put it in the lobby. Cool. But yeah, um, I was talking to Craig Smith. And he's so. Max still in, well, you guys are still in Hawaii, right? Of course. Yeah. But what you're working? What's is Noah, right? The Noah. No, uh, University of Hawaii. Uh, Max is uh, director of Ocean uh, Technology Group, oh, which right, is right. our uh, marine technical operations. Okay. Um, I'm an ROV pilot and uh, machinist for the University of Hawaii. All oh, right. What's the your new your new ROV a newer? Lulukai. Uh, Lulukai, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a oh. six thousand meter uh, dual. Hydraulic operated uh, TMS two part body ROV. Very cool. Now we got little mounds. Sea mounds? Sea mounds. Uh, is there another term for that? Like hammocky or hot? Hummocks uh, would be hummocks. on land. Um, oh, look at that. Rock with some black coral on it, looks like. Biology, mm -hmm. you don't care. Or maybe it's up from <laughs> Noah, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, it was like a nice flower looking bouquet. <laughs> wow. This one is further up and doesn't have zoom. And the lighting, see the lighting? But in theory, yeah. In theory, you have way more megapixels there. So if you have a good s setting, you, if you zoom in, you're gonna have. Way. Yeah, that's. No, I don't think. This is digital zoom. Optical zoom. Well, the lighting is not set up. I should <laughs> shut up. Here. You're good. You're talking about that digital still camera? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ed, explain, uh, explain here to Dirk because he's not believing that uh, the, the digital still. Well, you. I believe. I believe. I just I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a completely different sensor, purpose built to get still images. So it's got a lot more active pixels. Yeah, uh, there's more pixel density. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he's not impressed when he sees the result of the all these pictures yeah, that well, he's been that's, taking. That's because he took the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, right. I feel like it's more than that. No, uh, Operator and, error. Well, also, well, I'm looking at the mollusk well, in the video, wrong. and then are I'm you, looking at this, and it's... Are you looking at a JPEG or a RAW? JPEG, DVD? JPEG. Okay, so that, there's been some uh, processing applied to that. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, Just to and visualize it's, it's baked in. It doesn't let you change... Yeah, there's compression as well. Yeah. Um, and I think we were probably full wide with that camera. I'm sure it's got a, uh, a nice lens on it that does optical zooms as a decent yeah. focal range. But I, I really, that was the first time I've ever interacted with a camera. I don't even know what that camera is. We should have uh, studied it before the, unfortunately. Is that one of the wide field cameras? Does anybody yeah, know? Yeah, it has optical zoom too. I don't know it if does? they've changed yeah. that one out. No? Or is that I, the Thurber cam? I think it might still be the Thurber I think it's the Thurber yeah, digital still. So what's the Thurber, what's in the housing? Ooh. Oh yeah, actually Tom was camera. asking that. I was, uh, yeah. We no, have that information. Right um, it's been a while. You probably can get it off the metadata for your image, but you probably don't okay, have the yeah, tools yeah. for that. I, I don't. Uh, Does it say it on that app that you use to control it? I wouldn't have a clue, sorry. Uh, hold on, it might say it at the top. One of those. I believe it does. Am I just... 
where they were yeah. saved. Uh, I'll just oh. take another one. Man. Hey. 